Okay. Um, let me let me get my microphone closer to me. There we go. I think I'm. I think I'm good. I think I'm right. You can see my bo stack of boxes over here. Um, I got a lot of stuff going on. A lot, a lot of stuff going on. Let's see here. Let's get one of these. Mmm. Ooh, I made that strong. Mmm. Mmm. All right. What's up, David? What's up, Niner Brand? How's it going? Luke Skywalker. That's right, David Sutherland. He's my favorite character in Star Wars now. Is the Luke Skywalker. All right. We good. Good. I'm glad everyone's good. I'm glad all two people in chat are good. Oh, we got seven viewers now. Oh, we're good. We're getting up there. We're getting everyone's coming in. Coming in hot. What's up, Miguel? What's up? Dagupa, David Chandler. Happy holidays, my friend. Uh, Miguel, how you doing, buddy? <clears throat> Let's see here. Uh, David, so we love the video. Thank you. I'm glad you like my videos. It's Will, it will always be weird to me that people like my videos, but I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm complaining, but I'm, I'm not at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Papa Gord's in the house. I got, um, I got some summer sausage going on. And, and then I got, um, I got some cheese. I got some Kerrygold. What is this? Kerrygold aged cheddar. I got a, um, I brought a little knife so I can, uh, slice the cheese. Yeah, Night of Red. So uh, I was just showing Lily that at uh, Target today. Science fantasy experience, man. I'm glad you could catch my live my live show. Is, it, is this a show? Is it? Would you consider this a show? I don't know. Um. Uh, what's up, Twelve? Steve, right? I think it was, is that what you wanted me to call you? Um. It's always kind of funny. I see uh, Murray. How you doing? Jr. Kaneko. How you doing? I see like a lot of you guys commenting on other people's channels, and I'm I'm, I'm not saying like I, I'm like I'm jealous or anything, but I'm always I always find it interesting that like, like you know on one level you guys watch my stuff, but like I watch the same stuff that you guys watch too. Like I'm literally just one of you. So it's, it's always funny to me. Like I'm also commenting because I like this person's stuff. Like I'm just a person. Uh, calculus three fifteen no. It's meat, cheese, and then this is Johnny Walker with, hold on, so it's, it's just regular, it's, it's the it's the White Walker Game of Thrones Johnny Walker, it was on sale for 20 bucks, and then I got the Cinnamon Coke, which is surprisingly good, it's, I, I, I bought it on accident, and I thought, crap, this is going to be terrible, uh, but it's a good mixer, especially with, with whiskey, because it's just like a cinnamon whiskey, <laughs> David Sutherland, I don't, I don't think I have the best show on the internet, but thank you. Bugman4, how you doing? Yes, Knight of Ren. Cara Dune is one of the best uh, figures of the year, for sure. For sure. Um, oh, James Sandlin's got a question right off the bat. Are you collecting the Galaxy of Adventures 5-inch line? If so, favorite. Uh, and what figures do you want? I always want Hoth, Leia, and Bespin Han. That's a great... Great question, James. Uh, I'm not going full in on that line, but I do own two so far. I own the Darth Vader and the Walmart exclusive Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker. They're great figures. Um, I do want to buy more. I want to buy the Chewbacca. I saw Han Solo and C-3PO on the internet, and today they just announced like Yoda, Darth Maul. Um, I'm probably going to pick... I'm, I, I, I probably... Wow. I need more alcohol. I'm probably going to pick up more of those, but I don't... I don't want to go all in. Like, originally I was only going to collect a couple of the original trilogy figures, like Darth Vader, like the big ones. So if I ever do like a retrospective, I can show off different versions of that character. But it's a surprisingly good line. Like, it's a, like they have great articulation. I like the stylized figures. Sure, they have a little gimmick, like an action figure gimmick, but you can easily ignore it, you know? So I definitely like it. Jamie Powers, what's up? Uh... Dude, I'm spring's gonna be a good a good year uh, time of year. There you go. Spring's gonna be a good time of year for the Black Series. That 2020 wave, 
uh, coming out in spring is going to be fire. Uh, today, I don't know if you guys saw this, they announced Commander Bly, or showed off Commander Bly and the um, Sith Jet Trooper, and they both look good. I like it. That's right, man. I'm just one of the guys. Miguel, I got some cheese. This is uh, some aged cheddar, and it's really good. I got some summer sausage. Winco has like a gigantic summer sausage on sale for like four bucks. Way better than that little Hickory Farms thing that's all over the place for like six. Because it's like two bucks less and just like four of those. So uh, I always get that. David Sutherland asks, do I think more Hyper Reel will be released? I think it's hard to tell. I don't know how well Darth Vader sold. I definitely have one. Obviously, I've done a review on it. I'm probably not going to get Luke Skywalker. But... I pr like maybe maybe if Luke Skywalker goes on sale, like Darth Vader for for uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, I saw him as low as forty bucks. Like if Luke Skywalker goes on sale for forty bucks, I'll buy it. I won't I won't even question it. I'll I'll pick up that Luke Skywalker for forty bucks. Um, but like right out the gate, like when when it comes out, I'm probably not gonna buy Luke Skywalker. If they do like a Boba Fett, I will buy a Boba Fett for sure. Uh, st uh, my buddy, hi, st st uh, Stumbler, is in chat. He wants me to, um, he wants me to do an awards show for the year, uh, for the end of the year. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I have never done an awards show before, but I definitely could. Uh, I think there's been a lot of interesting things this year. Like, the Black Series has started including tiny little characters as, uh, pack-ins. Um, like, you've got, like, the little BT1, you got the DO... And you've got the little um, Babu Frick from C-3PO. And like, I feel like that's a thing that started this year. And I like it. So uh, I'm really hoping that they keep that up. And the Mandalorian gets like a little baby Yoda. Like, because it's like the same, it's like the same size, you know? Uh, let's see. Uh, do, I don't collect Legends, but Polaris and Havoc 2-Pack is calling my name. Yeah. Um, I, I don't collect many Marvel Legends. I haven't bought a Marvel Legends in, in a couple months, actually. Uh, but I do collect the X-Men and X-Force, so that Polaris Havoc 2-pack does look super, super good. What's up, David? Oh, David Smith. Dude, I got your package today. Thank you. I haven't, obviously haven't opened it yet. It's actually sitting right there on the ground. That's, it. That's your package right there. The white box. Um, I'm going to do a grand unboxing, so uh, it'll be fun. What's up, Ellen Boxing? How you doing? <clears throat> yeah, Night of Ren, I saw that the Boba Fett Galaxy of Adventures was re revealed today. So are the, the Darth Maul and Yoda. And um, I feel like there was one more. Uh, I don't remember. But I mean, they look good. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy some of them. I don't know if I'm going to buy all of them. Uh, I still need to pick up Chewbacca for sure. And I need to pick up that droid three pack with the uh, BB-8 and the R2. Because I, I mostly just want the R2. Um because I'm collecting the you know, originally trilogy, original trilogy characters and R2 is one. Because I saw that they released also uh, C-3PO. Uh, so I need, I need that, obviously. Calculus says, I have an alien's NECA addiction. That's, that's a tough addiction, bro. I can't stop buying Hicks, Hudson's, and Vasquez's. Uh, looser package, please help. No, I'm not going to help, dude. That's on you. That's on. That's way on you. <clears throat> Need to make a Black Series clone commando? Absolutely. Uh, they definitely, I mean, any, we always need more Black Series clones, but we also need more Black Series clankers to go with those clones because it's tough having an army of, like, clone troopers and no one for them to fight. Right now, like, we have the regular battle droid and a Grievous, and that's pretty much it. Obviously, we're getting more battle droids, and the battle droids is something you can buy multiples of, but it's still just a battle droid, you know? Um, so I know we're getting more, we're getting the Genosian battle droid, uh, I've got the heavy battle droid, uh, or the, yeah, the, there's the, the GameStop one coming out in February, I've got that one on pre-order, that one looks pretty good. Yeah, uh, the, the, I, I, I still need to pre-order all the new figures that got announced, I just haven't been, like, it hasn't felt like something I've, I've, I've had to jump on, because they're not coming out until March of 2020, or May of 2020. Some of the figures they announced are coming out in March. Some of the figures they announced are coming out in May. Like, I, I can wait, you know? It's, it's not like they're gonna just disappear. 
You're right, Night of Ren. We, we knew Bly was coming out in uh, for, for a, a while, but it's always just been a rumor. But so far, all the rumors have been true. So it's nice. Uh, I can't wait. Like, that art leak, The I don't know if you guys saw the art leak. Uh, Bly was one. Um, the crate Luke Skywalker was one. Um, friggin', uh, uh, what, what's the guy's name from Rebels? The one we still need that I, I'm blanking on his name right now. Zeb. Zeb is one. Um, and then... Uh, Jar Jar is one, so I'm actually pretty excited for that. So, uh, I'm, I'm gonna buy all those. Shane says you guys are lucky. We get hit and miss release in New Zealand and have to rely on a few importers to get exclusives. Yeah, dude. Honestly, I feel for you. Like it sucks. I get it. Um, I, I know I'm blessed for living in the United States, uh, and that's where most of the stuff comes out. So uh, I, I realize that I'm lucky. But that's also why I kind of do what I do. Like, I, I like to do the reviews. So people like you that, you know, you have to hunt and pack and maybe they're more expensive. Um, maybe you can save money on the ones you don't need. Or when you're buying one, you kind of know what you're getting into. So that's that's kind of like why I want to do the reviews that I do and the videos that I do. So for, for people specifically like you. But, you know, good hunting to you. Shrill Galaxy says, how's it going? It's going well. Thank you. I'm doing well. How are you? Uh, oh. <clears throat> uh, yes, Stumbler, I think that's true. The last Legends I got were the ones that you mailed me. Although, I think, did I get Storm before or after you mailed those to me? I don't know. It was about the same time. It's been, it's been a while. I've, and I've seen, I've seen a lot of Legends I want on the shelf. I've just not bought them. I don't know. I just, I'm running out of room on my shelves back here. Uh, and I haven't set up my other shelf yet, so it's been kind of pausing me from buying more figures that I want but don't need, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so I, I've just been, um, I'm not even, I'm not doing my best dolphin impression. I'll let, I'll let Lily do that. Uh, let's see here. You didn't join late, we just stopped. Uh, you can't, you can't, hold on. No one's stuck watching John Mulaney. John Mulaney is a treasure. Uh, so you haven't missed much. Uh, uh, my Best Buy had 21 IG-11s. The Best Buy exclusives would be that common. I'm all for it. I agree. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you guys saw my review, but I do got my uh, I got my Paz Vizsla here hanging out. I can't put him on the shelf because I like playing with him so much. He, honestly, and this is a little spoiler alert for my video, but if he's not my number one pick, pick of the year for Black Series, I don't know what like alternate reality I'm living in. He is easily one of my favorite figures, for sure. Booper Duper, how's it going? I like your name. Uh, there are comic shops in Scotland. I can answer that because I've been, but only I've only been to Edinburgh, so I don't know. Um, there's the Fantastic Planet, which I went there, and it was pretty big. They had a lot of figures, uh, but I don't remember them having anything super current at the time. The best Fantastic Planet I went to a Forbidden Planet? It's Forbidden Planet, sorry. The best Forbidden Planet I went to uh, was the one in London, for sure. David Smith, you're not getting me addicted to Mezco, but I mean, I know you're, I know you're trying. I know you're trying in there, but you're not going to. I, I forbid it. Let's see. Here. Just reading through here. Uh, no, I was not let down by the last two episodes of The Mandalorian. I think the first three episodes were better, uh, but I, I, I'm, I'm way okay with anything Mandalorian and Baby Yoda. I'm enjoying the ride. I'm, I'm looking to see where it takes me. I'm going to let all eight episodes happen to me before I make any like serious judgments, but I'm I'm super down. I enjoy the all, all five episodes of The Mandalorian so far. Um, but you're uh, I think uh, it it's definitely setting up for the future for sure. So we'll see. We'll see where it goes. Uh, yes, I agree, Shrill and uh, uh, Steve there they, they said that the last two episodes basically were building on Mando and Yoda. It's true. because uh, the Basically, the man for for the episode four. The, I don't know. I don't want to get into the spoilers. I was gonna review each episode, but I just don't have the. Uh, I don't have the time.
But uh, like the episode four was all about. I mean, it was, it was a overarching, you know, seven samurai kind of dealio going on. But the real overarching storyline between Yoda, Baby Yoda, whatever we're calling him, and the Mando uh, is that the Mando was trying to get rid of him, and he realizes that he can't basically um, because the if he really he's all, he's all in on the kid at this point. Like he, if he abandons him, like what well, what was that whole first three episodes about? It makes it pointless if he abandons him now. So. Uh, yes, I definitely like it. Yeah, the Gregory Titus art leak. Yeah, that's what I was talking about in Night of Ren. Uh, let's see. Uh, but you're, yeah, there are, there are filler episodes to say the least. I think, um, I think the last, the first three episodes are like a super good. I think the last three episodes will be good and the middle two episodes are just kind of like, they're getting it set up to where it's going to go. I'm hoping. I, obviously, I have no idea. So, we'll see. All right. Yeah, Forbidden Planet's what I meant. I, I Fantastic Planet, Forbidden Planet. Some kind of planet. Dave Chandler, I'm glad that my uh, my review didn't oversell Paz. Uh, he is 100%. Um, he's good. You know what? What I am gonna do this year, uh, I I'm I got a lot more. I usually do a top 10 Star Wars Black Series figures, but I got a lot more figures than Black Series this year. Like um, I got I got Bebop and Rocksteady hanging out with me right here. I found them on the shelf uh, a little earlier. Actually, it was last week. Um, these are probably my favorite figures of the year that aren't Star Wars The Black Series. I absolutely love these two figures. So it's going to... I don't know what's up with my camera. It does not like the the coloring. Is that looking weird on, on there for you guys too? Or is that just is that just my, uh, my program here? Hold on, I'm waiting for the, the video to catch up. Because on my preview program, his shirt looks super, super weird. Oh, it's, it is. It's my camera. Is my camera messed up? I think my camera is super messed up. It does not like green. Oh, you know why? I know why. Hold on. I know why. I know what's happening here. Uh, Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I have a, uh, where is it? I, I, I tried doing a green screen thing. I was messing around with it. Nope, that's not it. Where is the setting for that green screen? I forgot that I tried doing that. And I think that's messing up anything um, green in color. You can see. Scale filtering, enter its uh, filters. No. Properties, no. Oh man, now I'm blanking on where If anyone knows OBS. Yeah, I'm using OBS. Uh, I I tried messing around with the green screen, so I've got it. I think I think anything it sees that's green is like it's just super messed up right now. I might have to stop and start it because it's kind of bugging me.
This is super interesting, I know. What's my favorite black series of all time? Oh, dude. Uh, oh, here it is. I found it. I found it. I found it. I found it. There it goes. It's gone. All right. If that'll catch up on camera, guys. But uh, yeah, I got. Hold up. I got. Uh, I got the whole green screen thing gone. Yeah, there it goes. That's what he's supposed to look like. So that is my Bebop and Rocksteady. I think those guys are going to be my, my figures of the year that are, aren't Star Wars. All right, let me go back. I, I, fixed, my, uh, I fixed my thing, so let me go back here. Yeah, I mean, he is pretty careless with Baby Yoda a lot, but I think, um, I don't know. You're right. You're, you're right, he is, but I think he's not a dad, you know? He doesn't, I don't know. I think, I think he's, he's in for more than he was expecting, I think. I'm going to eat some more cheese. What am I asking for for Christmas this year? I've got a ton of Transformers. I actually, of the last four or so years I've been doing this channel... This year, I bought the fewest Transformers. Like, absolutely fewest. Um, in terms of, like, expensive ones, masterpiece ones, thing, like third parties, things like that. Uh, I bought a lot of the Siege line, which I'm enjoying, but... Um, so it's all, it's all... It's mostly Transformers on my Christmas list. Um, all right. Okay, so Boop, uh, Booper Duper asked what my favorite Black Series figure of all time is. I don't, honestly, it's, it, it changes all the time. Um, this is one, but it's hard to say. You know, it, like, I always think the newest is the best, you know, because it's the newest. But uh, at the same time, this is a fantastic figure. The Episode 4 Darth Vader is super good. Jaina Solo is super good. Uh, it's really hard to lock down a favorite figure of all time. But I think it's Rose Tico. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You're right, Tim. I did buy Unicron. Um, and the problem is that was that was easily the most expensive figure I've ever bought. It's the most expensive toy I've ever bought. Uh, it wins a lot of cool awards that way. But I'm not going to get it until like 2021. So... Uh, the Mandalorian does have a name, uh, but, 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 but the guy, the actor, uh, said it in an interview. I don't know if he was supposed to or not, but he does have a name. Um, it's a weird name, but it's very Star Wars. I think someone asked me a question that I missed somewhere. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Top, am I working on a top 10 most wanted already? Yep, I am. I am. But I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to... I'm not going to do it until January. <clears throat> um, so, and it's tough because I, I, I haven't really ever followed rumors before. Like, I've always just done videos and not really paid attention to what people are saying is coming out. Not until they officially get released. But this year, uh, being on more of the news-oriented side of it, I've been following rumors a lot more than I have been in the past. So I think it's going to be tougher to do the most wanted this year because if I like if I do one that's a rumored figure, like I kind of know it's going to come out because so far all the rumored figures have come out. So I don't I don't know. What's up, Axel? How you doing, buddy? But that's my problem. I'm going to figure it out. I always do. Brad McLean, I'm, I mean, that's fine. You can blame me all you want, but you're the one that bought them. I didn't. But uh, Optimus Prime, I don't know why I like Optimus Prime so much. But I do. I absolutely do. I want, like, every Optimus Prime. Uh, there's there's no... At no point have they released an Optimus Prime where I'm like, you know what? 
I've got enough Optimus Primes. I I'm I don't need that one. I always need that one. I, I need another one. I, I want every Optimus Prime. Alright. Yeah, we do need a black series in the shiny new armor. Is my shirt the Raven's Crest? No, man, this is Firefly. This is uh this is from Firefly, it's the Serenity. Uh, yes, I am gonna do a review on Second Sister right now. I know it's been it's been a while since I've done a review, guys. I, I apologize, but uh, life's been pretty busy, and doing doing Black Series reviews is not as easy as I make it look. Uh, but I'm working right now currently on a flash review or a rapid review of this Ray, and then the next one I think is gonna be Cal Kestis. But I'm definitely eventually going to get to. Um, to the the Mando and um, and to the second sister, I, I will review them for sure. Yeah, Pong Krell is gonna be on my list for sure. I'm glad, David, that you can stick around with me this time. In the past, you haven't been able to. You've been like working out or something, and here I am eating. Um, Delicate, uh, decadent cheeses and um, summer meats. So, um, I've got, I've got toys to open. Hold on. Mm. that's good. That's really good. So over the last week, I bought a couple of toys here because they weren't on my Christmas list. Um, I got a, the second series Gundam Death Scythe from. Uh, the Gundam Universe series. I have two Gundam Universe figures so far. I've got the Grandpa Gundam, the RX-78, and I've got Wing Gundam. I'm probably not going to buy any of the Unicorn Gundams, and I'm probably not going to buy the Barbados Gundams, because I just, I don't know, I just, I, I never really got into those. I've tried watching Blood, um, what is it, Blood Soaked Orphans? Is that, is that the name of the Gundam? Um, some kind of blood orphan one. Yeah. I've tried watching that show. I've got to episode like five, three separate times over the years that it's been out. And I just cannot get into it. I try, but I can't. All right. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna pop open all of Death Scythe's stuff. Death Scythe is probably one of my favorite Gundams. From all of Gundam. First of all, he's got a rad name for sure. So here we go. This is the Gundam Death Scythe right there, piloted by Duo Maxwell. Let's see, his shoulders are articulated, but these upper parts aren't. Yeah, we got like standard articulation here. Double jointed knee. Oh no, single jointed. It's a double, it's double jointed, but it's like, uh, oh, there's actually a joint at the upper leg. That's interesting. Okay. What do we got here? So we got his, uh, staff. I'm putting him on top of my cheese. We got his staff and it's got his, uh, oh. I like, I like that his moves. That's cool. But it's also super hard to get in. There it goes. We got his staff and we got his scythe. There we go. I can just hear the themes, like the song in my head playing with this. The doodly 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 You know, back in the day when Gundam Wing first came out, I didn't, I never did the models. But what I did have, I don't want to change his hand. He's got alternate hands here. What I did have were the Gundam like three and three quarter inch figures or four inch figures. I loved those things. I had all of them. I had all of them. There we go. So I'm just gonna kind of, I'm gonna put. He's got he's got a little energy weapon clip on here to for his shield. There he goes. So I got him kind of standing there, going to shoot his little, uh, his little shield at somebody. Uh, 
I like it. He's good. He's a good figure. He's honestly, he's probably gonna stand on my shelf like this. I might put this behind a little bit or like angled a little bit more, like that. But yeah, that's uh, that's probably how he's gonna be on my shelf with next to Wing Gundam. What's up, Mr. T? Welcome to my chat. Gundam. All right, Booper Duper. Have a good day, man. If you uh, if you haven't if you haven't seen this already. Miguel says, did I ever get the classic animation OP? If you mean the MP1, the Masterpiece 44, absolutely not. That thing is 450 bucks, and it's absolutely ridiculous that it is that expensive. So I'm probably not going to do that for sure. Uh, my holiday season is going really well so far. Thank you for asking. I mean, it's busy. This is always a busy time in general. But... On top of that, I'm making a video every day. So, uh, li like Lily and I have been recording our uh, unboxing of the advent calendar, and I had to go and edit that and post it because we do it the night before, and I post it at 6 a.m. my time every day. And that's it's a lot of work. It's like 20, 20, 30 minutes of shooting, and then like maybe 30 minutes to an hour of editing. Uh, and then uploading and then, you know, so it's, it's like a good two hours of my night taken up every night. Um, we'll probably have to cheat a little bit cause we have some stuff coming up where we have to record multiples in one night and I have to spread it out. Uh, I want to see if you guys can tell which ones were actually recorded the night of and which ones weren't cause I'm never going to say it cause I don't want to ruin the illusion. David Smith, I can't. Uh, I I got the box of crap. I'm I'm gonna open it at some point. But again, it's right there. It's sitting right here. <clears throat> That's it, Axel Anderson. Sorry, the, Bar the Barbados is the Barbados looks. I mean, he looks good, but I just I don't know. Like I I don't want to collect them all. Um, I've tried getting into Iron Blood. I probably just need to give it more time. I just haven't. But uh, maybe next time I, I, I go to watch a Gundam series, I'll just sit down and hammer through Iron Blooded Orphans. <laughs> yes, yes, hi. Uh, I am. You figured me out. I only deal in absolutes, and uh, only a, only a Sith deals in absolute collecting. I am a Darth. No, you cannot get any edgier than, than the name Death Scythe. Especially the upgraded version is Death Scythe Hell. So like it takes that it takes that like high school angst up a notch. Uh, from just regular Death Scythe to Death Scythe Hell. Uh, but yeah, I, I like him. He's like the Batman of um, Gundams. Kinda. Um, until this one, the RX-78 was probably my favorite Gundam in the line, but I think this one kind of edges it out a little bit. I like the, I like Death Scythe a lot. Papa Gord, if you want to swap cookie recipes, we can do that off camera, buddy. Shrill asked, am I doing any events with my friends? Yeah, I mean, there's always uh, holiday parties and things like that. Uh, I'll probably do. I don't know uh, right off the top of my head what or when. Um, but uh, like last night, um, I hung out with some friends at their place and we did board games all night. And that was a lot of fun. Oh, I don't know if we'll do a Secret Santa Axel's favorite Gundams are the Barbados, the Tall Geese, and the Zabi. Tall Geese was the very first Gundam I ever bought, um, you know, as a, as a Gundam toy. 
uh, Tall Geese is probably my favorite Gundam design for sure. And it's not really Gundam; it's it's a, mo it's a mobile suit. But you know, you know what I mean. <clears throat> yeah, the box on it says that it was expected to arrive on Monday, David, but uh, it got here today. It, it was in my PO box today. Uh, yes, I think there will be more sequel trilogy Black Series figures post-2020. Uh, I don't know if we will get a, uh, I don't know if we'll get a, a Palpatine. Um, I don't really know much about the episode nine, but I know, I know they've used his voice and he's definitely in the movie. Like that's not a spoiler because he's been, he's been in TV spot. Well, not, not him. You don't see him, but there's new voice work in the TV spots and the trailers. So like you, you can easily infer since they're new their new di it's new dialogue that he's gonna be in the movie somehow. I mean, the actor Ian McDiarmid was on stage, so we'll see. <clears throat> Which do I prefer, Gundam or Transformers? Transformers, hands down. I like Gundam. I like Gundam a lot, but Transformers has the history. It's got uh, the transforming, so for sure. Uh, yes, Night of Ren, tall geese, the tallest geese actually. It's it, where they took it. They took a goose, and then they made it tall, which became a geese. So it was tall geese. Um, do I think Captain America can beat Thanos? Uh, no. I, I I mean in the comics maybe, in the MCU no, I don't. Even without any um. It, if if he didn't have any power stones and Captain America had Thor's hammer and it was just them without any previous battle damage like or being tired, I think Captain America could give him a run for his money. But I think just Captain America by himself and Thanos by himself, probably not. Oh, Miguel... The Siege animation paint job. No, I haven't gotten any of those. I am not against buying them, but I just, I haven't wanted, I mean, I know I'm kind of contradicting myself here. I'm a person and I do that sometimes. Um, but I, I just I haven't been able to justify buying the exact same Optimus Prime, but with a cartoon accurate paint job. Uh, I don't know why that's been so tough for me. If I never bought the original Op Siege Optimus Prime, I would 100% jump on the cell shaded one. But uh, I just, again, part of it's just I'm running out of room. Like my seed shelf is right here. It's packed. I can't fit anymore. In fact, uh, Ape Face is on the shelf next, excuse me, is on the shelf next to my siege because I can't fit them on. So yeah, for sure. Uh, his number one figure you want is Pre Vizsla. Uh, I don't think we'll get him anytime soon, dude. I don't. I don't. I wouldn't say never, uh, but I would love a Pre Vizsla, especially with a with a dark saber. Like that would be awesome. Thank you. I try to be as articulate as possible. Transformers has transforming. Uh, it's just a fact, and I'm glad that you recognize it. Yes, Tim, I am seeing Rise of Skywalker opening night, um, Thursday the 19th. I'm seeing it at 6 p.m. on a 2D IMAX screen, and it's going to be, I'm very much looking forward to it. I think it's going to be great. Do I think MCU Ant-Man could defeat MCU Thanos? Thanos has many holes. No, and the reason is this. Um, the whole going inside and expanding thing uh, would crush Ant-Man. It would not, it would not blow up Thanos. Thanos uh, would would crush Ant-Man <laughs> in between his butt cheeks. So that's just, that's not how that would work. Uh, and anyone that thinks that that's how that would outcome, you're going to be in for a serious disappointment. Would I rather have myself made into a figure to fit inside your Transformers or Star Wars 6? Oh! Huh! I am, um, 
That's a good that's a good question. Hey, Lily's in chat. Uh, would I rather myself be made into a figure to fit in my Transformers collection or uh, to fit in my Star Wars collection? I would probably say I would rather be in my uh, Star Wars or Marvel Legends style rather than a Transformers style. I know that's tough, but I, I think and this is this is silly uh, and it's it's a very, it's very narcissistic. So it's weird to think about having an action figure of myself at all. But I would rather have it be a little bit more realistic than being a robot, I guess, is the reason for that. If that makes sense. Hi. One more drink? Yes. Can I have your cup? Um, just fill it with uh, Johnny Walker. I've got more. Oh, okay. more. I was like, what is happening? <laughs> yeah, just a little Johnny Walker. Thank you. Like... Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Absolutely. I'm getting more alcohol. Thank you. That's my wife. My wife. Um, and now I also have another another figure to open. I found this at Walgreens the other day. Actually, it was Black Friday. Um, got off work on Black Friday, and I was like, oh, I'll just hop in to see what's going on at Walgreens. It looked pretty. In, uh, it looked pretty empty. And I walked down the toy aisle, and they had this. They had two Clone Commander Obi Wans. They had. Uh, they had like basically all the all the exclusives just kind of hanging out. And I originally wasn't going to get this because uh, I guess the reason why is because I uh, I didn't I don't want the I don't want him to have the uh, the dragon armor on. I just I've never cared for the dragon armor, but um I'm told that you can turn, you can take the dragon armor off really easily, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. But I definitely uh, I like the Power Rangers Lightning Collection line a lot, and I'm definitely collecting all the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers in it. So let's see, how do we take this dragon armor off? Hi. Hi. That's my alcohol. It is. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else? No. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Love you. Yeah. I do. Good. I love you too. Good. Yeah. I was too lazy to do the dishes. That's fair. I ran the dishwasher instead. That's good. Okay. All right. Let's see. At at this point, are you more excited for Mando season two or Kenobi? Oh, that's tough. Uh, I mean, I think. I think Kenobi. I think Kenobi. Oh, dude! Happy birthday, Chris Redfield. Hi, like I'm happy birthday, bud. I'm glad you're here. What's up, Ionicus? Welcome to the chat. Um. Oh, I got I got his head off. That's good. So there's that. Let's see. How do we take his dragon armor off? Because I'm not a big fan. Oh, you can't. You know what? I just realized you can take the dragon armor off, but it's going to have the gold bands on it. So it's not going to be perfect. So I don't know. If they ever come out with this non-dragon armor, uh, I'll probably I'll probably uh, buy that too. So I might just leave the dragon armor on now that I think about it. I just realized that's that's gonna ruin it there. You can take the dragon armor off, but he's got a gold band on on there. That that kind of sucks, but it's fine. He'll he'll fit in with the rest for now. And he's got a cool Zack head. Look at this head. Like that's that's a good head. Let me let me just pop this on right here. Uh, he does have too many fingers, but I think. I think you can get around that by saying that uh, when when Zack was a Power Ranger, he got all of his fingers back. But the actor is missing a finger for sure. And that's just kind of a fun fact, I guess. Cool. His... Uh, there we go. His... His gun comes forward, so you can make it into a gun. That's fun. Uh, 
Uh oh, Josh Pence is live. You guys, if you want to go join Josh Pence, I mean, he's probably way more interesting than I am. Uh, let's see, the same woman who directed The Sin is directing Kenobi. Uh, yes, Deborah Chow. She did a fantastic job with The Sin. The Sin is easily my favorite episode of the Mandalorian show so far. So that's awesome. All right, thanks, uh, James. Have a, have a good one. All right. Just trying to get... There we go. All right. Just trying to get him into like a two-handed gun pose here. There it goes. And then he's got, uh, there we go. So he's got a little cannon action going on. That's fun. I like toys, man. I don't know what is up with me. I'm like 37 years old and I'm never going to stop buying toys. What would Mike transform into? Oh, you so like a, a figure like spark plug? I don't I don't know. I'd probably still rather be I'd probably still rather be in my Star Wars collection. Yeah, you know, there's a, there's a Power Ranger line for everyone, man. Dude, Josh, don't even worry about it. You go live when you go live, bro. Don't don't even bother. You want to go live? You can you can you can out live me. You're it's all right. I don't, I don't have a I don't have an ego about this. Do you want some cheese? I've got some cheese as a peace offering. Allow me to cut you off a piece of cheddar. This is aged cheddar. Have some. Buy it. Dude, I'm never going to go up against Josh. Um, people, people can go live whenever they want to go live. It's, it's fine. Papa Gore can go live right now. What I'll do, I'm going to go hop into Josh Pence's uh, live stream here. All right. Josh Pence. There we go. I'm subscribed. I got that bell wrong. Live now. There we go. It's all good. Have some cheese. We'll start... Like, what's the opposite of a war? Like, let's, let's start a, not, not a streaming war, but like a streaming friendship, streaming peace. I would 100% transform into a, a liquor delivery truck. That's, that's what I would be. I would definitely be a truck. I would definitely be a truck. Um, Night of Rain, I'm glad that you're also in both places. We, we could be cool together. Uh, what's up, Gintugo? Uh, if I were a truck, though, I want to say this: if I were a, if I were a, a truck, I would I wouldn't be like Optimus Prime, where just the cab would would become the guy. I would be like more like Motor Master, where all of me becomes the guy. Like I would I would be the whole truck. The opposite of war is Woodstock. Yes, let's have a streaming Woodstock. Dagupa is 35, and uh, there's exactly there's something about figures. It's a good feeling. It's fun buying figures, especially figures of something from my childhood. Yeah, La Rascasse. La Rascasse. Oh, dude, uh, there's I found a meme of someone that took the Tesla truck and. Um, 
and basically turned it into Optimus Prime. Uh, let me see if I can if, if I can post this up uh, because it's it's a pretty good one. it's a pretty good one. Uh, 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 here it is. Let's see, let's see. Do, do, do. Where did it go? Do, do, do. That's my, I'm looking for the picture <laughs> song, I guess. Did it not? Did it not do it? There it is. Wait. There it is. Okay. Now I'm going to add this. Add win window capture. Now create a new one. Okay. And we're going to do. Uh, uh, uh. Preview. There it is. Okay. There, there we go. There we go. That's a little picture I found of Optimus Prime, but a Tesla truck. And I like it. It's like my favorite thing in the world right now. Not my favorite thing, but that's what I would be. I would be something like that for sure. Now I'm going to get rid of it. You tried to buy a Prince Trooper and had to get the Fallen Order Special Edition. I've heard people have to do that. I haven't had to. I'm going to get rid of that. Yes. There we go. Thankfully for me, they were available just to buy in Canada. And Papa Gord sent me one. And Papa Gord's the best. Did I pick up the transforming urinal? No, I did not pick up the transforming urinal, nor did I pick up the transforming toilet. Uh, I want to. They're, they're definitely figures that I want. But uh, it's also tough because it's like, why? I mean, other than buying it for the novelty of it, like, why? What's up, the engine? How's it going? Do I listen to Maroon 5? No, I don't. The great question though, I don't. I mean, I've heard Maroon 5, I just don't listen to him. What's up Josh Torres, How, what's your question? I'm sorry, I'm, I know I'm not saying anything I'm reading. I'm reading everything that's going on. For Christmas, the engine wants a bottle of uh, Macallan 25. All right. That's a good, uh, that's a good drink. I'm doing a little Johnny Walker White right now. Oh, dude. Um... I, <laughs> Mike looks like a Boston and Chicago guy. That's actually weirdly accurate. <laughs> if I if I had, I mean, uh, I I like Chicago and Boston more than I like Maroon Five. That's for sure. Um, sometimes you know, does anybody know what time it is? Will uh, get popped into my head or like more than a feeling. So good good call on that one. Um, why is a game called I Am Jesus Christ? being made and being prompted that I, uh, that I will be sold on Steam? I, I don't know, Josh. That's a good question. Um, I didn't make it, so I, I can't really answer that. I'm also not Steam, so I, I have no idea. But I would say the answer is because they can. I mean, that's, that's why a lot of people do that. Uh, Stumbler, that's a fantastic story. 
Um, pretend <laughs> doing a sob story like that. That's that's fantastic. That's that's a that's the way to get it. I'm proud of you. I really am. Chris Redfield, the best way to fix a bent accessory is to heat it up um, either with water, uh, hot water, or a hair dryer. So uh, stick like a, like a mug, like a coffee mug or hot chocolate, you know, some kind of mug. Uh, fill it with water, stick it in the microwave for like a minute, minute and a half. And then uh, uh, let, the, let the bent accessory or part or whatever soak in it for like, I would say 15, 20 seconds. And then when it gets out, it'll be a little kind of soft and rubbery and just kind of straighten it out and let it dry and cool down. And when it, when it cools down, it'll be straight uh, if you straighten it right. If you bend it when it's pliable, when it, when it, when it cools down, it'll be bent. So you want to make sure it's straight. Uh, alternatively, instead of hot water, you can uh, hit it with like a hair dryer on low, uh, warm on low, and just kind of sit it there for like, I would say like 30 seconds. And the same thing though, it'll become kind of soft and, and rubbery and then just kind of straighten it out. That's the best way. Uh, Josh Torres, Torres, I would argue that uh, no games need to be made. Uh, and any game is made uh, as just some way to pass the time until you're dead. So uh, that's why the, the game needs to be made because someone wanted to pass the time until they died. That, that's why. That's a great question. I actually, I want to point out that no vehicle combos came out in all of 2019. This is the first year since like 2017 that we haven't had a vehicle combo kind of thing. So, um, it's kind of a bummer, really, but I get it. But if they did one, um, the Blurg with the uh, no, I can't remember the character's name right now. Uh, the Nick Nolte guy. That would be a good one. That would, that would definitely be high on my list. Uh, the Mandalorian with the Dewback would be fun. I mean, they already have both figures made. I'd buy it again if they came with the Dewback. If it had the, the nicer armor. The engine. Um, you know what? Tool is uh, definitely a band that I enjoy. Um, I'm, I'm really, if you ask me what kind of what kind of guy I am musically? Alt rock. I, I am 90s alt rock personified. That's what I am. Anything, if it was made in the 90s and it was alternate rock, that's that's what I meant. That's what, that's who I am. Have I ever considered doing toy hunt videos again? You know, I I've tried. Um, I uh, especially on Black Friday. I actually I have v footage of me hunting down figures on Black Friday. And I don't know, like I just didn't. I got meat stuck in my teeth here. So the answer is yes, I have considered it. Um, what I've considered though is because I can do the stories. Do you guys watch stories? Um, ha YouTube was like, hey, you, you can do stories now. So I thought, I don't know. It would be a good way to do just dumb little videos that I have, have to put no work into. Which is basically what a story is. So I was thinking I could do stories of my toy hunts instead of a toy hunt video. Um, because you only want to see what's there anyway. And that doesn't take longer than like 15 seconds to show you. No, Emphis Nest and Speeder was 2018 for sure. Emphis Nest and Speeder came out like July of 2018. Chris Redfield asks what my favorite anime opening is. My favorite anime opening of all time is either the second opening of Naruto or the opening of Record of Lotus War, the second series, not the first series. Uh, Chronic was it Chron some kind of Chron Chronicles or something? Um, that's that's my favorite opening of all time. Yeah, Bantha would be super good for sure. A six inch X Wing Man like like that. That would be expensive. Uh, 
I'm the stunt blur. I'm not not a polka fan. Uh, Lily hates that I listen to Weird Al Yankovic, so uh, that's what that's up to. Uh, Josh Torres, I'm glad that you like my stuff. Thanks for stopping by. Of course, I listen to Frank Sinatra. Doesn't everybody listen to Frank Sinatra? Uh, do I like the long pigs? No, I mean, I no. Here's the thing. Sorry, let me clarify. I don't not like the long pigs, but I don't necessarily like the long pigs. I have never heard the long pigs. I, I like '90s alt rock, but uh, that's what I've never heard. My favorite band is uh, Failure, which is a '90s alt alt rock band. And um, fun fact, it's actually um, uh, Maynard, uh, the guy from Tool and Perfect Circle and stuff. It's his favorite band. Uh, and he's the reason why they got back together because he had them, he hired them to play his birthday party back in 2014. And they enjoyed it so much that they be, they got back together. But Failure is my favorite band. Uh, yeah, I, I agree. Ha I have a TIE Fighter box series. I would like to have an X-Wing. And I wouldn't even mind if... Um, I wouldn't even mind if the X-Wing were uh, the newer X-Wing instead of the classic like Red 5. If it were like Poe's X-Wing, I would still buy it in a heartbeat. I actually like the way the new X-Wings work where the, it's like a single wing that splits in half instead of the two wings that kind of fold together. I like the way that looks. Um... So, um, I, I would, I mean, if it weren't ridiculously outrageous, I would definitely buy it. <laughs> Maynard was actually the lead singer of Green Jello as well. Ah, I did not know that. Just like I didn't know the lead singer from the Gorillas was also the lead singer from Blur. So that's that's also a fun fact that we're we're just throwing out fun facts here. All right, um, let's say I opened up all my toys. I talked about all the toys that I wanted to talk about. I've got a healthy buzz going on. I've been going on for ooh, about an hour or so. What really? Is that right? Yeah, about an hour. I think... Yeah, so that's the problem. Um, Gintugo, I think that's why they haven't been doing as many six-inch vehicles. is because they go on clearance. And then people just... Like they buy them super cheap, which I'm not. I'm not faulting anybody for doing that. I I buy them when they come out because I like to own them when I get them, and I like to, like I like I like to have them and I like to do reviews of them, all that stuff. So uh, it would be cool if they did more, but I get it because basically no one ever buys them until they go on clearance, which again I can't fault people for doing that because why why wouldn't you? If I can get it for twenty bucks instead of six, you know, sixty bucks, I I wouldn't even think about it. Excuse me. Um, I don't. We don't own a Lego X wing. Lily's more the Lego person than me. We have a lot of Legos, but they're all in the living room. Uh, we're doing the Lego. We do the Lego advent calendars every year. By the way, how do you guys like that? Do you guys like the Lego advent calendars? I mean, I'm not, I'm not complaining about it. It's a lot of work, but I, I like doing them. I think it's fun, but uh, I just, I don't know if you guys like watching them. Is the question. I definitely don't get as many views as my other videos, like by a long shot. But that doesn't mean I'll, I'll stop. I'm, I'm gonna keep doing it. But uh, yeah, I just, I don't know. Some feedback, I guess, is what I'm looking for. Yeah, Gintugo, I get it, man. It's, it's a lot of money. Uh, I think if they did big ones like an X-Wing or an ATST, they would have to crowdfund it like they did with the sail barge. Uh, I think that, that they would have to, absolutely. Because it's, 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 it's a lot of 
Like there, there's a there's a lot writing on it. That's why they crowdfunded like Unicron and stuff because th- there's a lot of research and development. There's a lot of production. There's a lot going into it. Um, there's a lot. Sorry, I had to <laughs> read a, a message that was hidden. Um, there's a lot going into it, and uh, I, I don't even know what I was talking about anymore. It's fine. Oh, the the Unicron, right? That's what I was talking about. So, uh, like, I get why they crowdfund it because seriously, a figure like a figure like Unicron, if they make it and it doesn't sell, it, I know this sounds crazy, but it could seriously hurt the brand and or I would I don't know if it would tank Hasbro as a whole. They're obviously a large company, but it would it would seriously devalue the brand to the point where maybe they would abandon it. So, like, if a big figure like Unicron or a big thing like the Sail Barge were made and failed, nobody bought it, it would 100% hurt the brand. So I get why they don't do it. The engine, I'm glad that you like stuff that I do. I'm, I'm glad that you guys like it. Engine, that's a great point, man. Um, that that you never know what's going to be easy to find and what's not. That's also why I buy things right away as well, because my biggest fear, like with the Mandalorian, a lot of people sat on the Mandalorian figure. It came out October fourth, Force Friday, and I bought one. I bought the I bought the uh, carbonized one and the regular one day one. Didn't even think about not buying them. Um, and all the people that sat on it, like, oh, I'll wait to see if the show's good. The show's good. They love it. And now, you know, you're paying 80 bucks for a Mandalorian online because you can't find him in stores anywhere because you didn't buy him when he was plentiful. So it's like it's like a whole thing. Like, I don't, it's a, it's, it's a kind of a fear of missing out, I guess. I would rather, I would rather pay, it's not even a little more. I'd rather pay retail up front than wait and potentially not have it because it's popular and now I can't find it. Um, I, I would rather err on that side than, ooh, I'm going to wait six months and get it because nobody bought it and now it's dirt cheap. Because uh, you, you can never tell. You can never tell. Yeah, Dagupa, it's okay. Yeah, we're doing a Lego advent calendar or two Lego advent calendars. So we're definitely into Legos for sure. I try. Sorry, it's not Legos. We're definitely into Lego for sure because Lego itself is actually plural. I do a list every year. Uh, I'll do another one in January. I mean, it's a it's a bold strategy to play the long game on Commander Fox. Um, yeah, you can eventually get figures super cheap online. Um, I don't think that really indicates, though, whether or not they're popular or not. Because they're definitely popular characters that are, like, you can get pretty, pretty easily. Um, I mean, you can go to Five Below right now and potentially get... Uh, uh, Commander Rex, you know, or Captain Rex, sorry. You can get a Captain Rex for $5 at 5 below. That doesn't mean he's a bad character. It doesn't mean that nobody wanted him. He was highly sought after. And suddenly, you know, here he is two years later, and we're getting cases of Commander Rex showing up at 5 below. So that doesn't mean that they're not, that people don't want them. But uh, you definitely, so in some cases, you can hold out and get figures cheaper uh, right right now on Amazon, I was looking earlier today at a lot of the Galaxy of Adventure, the five inch f- figures, because they're going for like six, seven bucks on Amazon instead of, you know, the $10 they retail for. So I was thinking about, you know, after the announcements today of filling in some of those holes. So if I do want to start a collection of those, uh, I can, I can, you know, snag them. Uh, Chris Redfield, I would love a uh, Black Series Savage. That, that would be fantastic. Yeah, Five Below has Star Wars figures. They had, they've had two major waves so far. Um, but like, so they're super old waves. Like, 
One was a twenty the twenty sixteen um, wave uh, from uh, with Rogue One, uh, and this one is the twenty eighteen wave with Captain Rex and stuff like that. Exactly, Nathan. That's a fantastic point. Vintage Power of the Force figures rotted in bargain bins back in the 80s, and now they go for hundreds of dollars. So just because someone doesn't want them now, I mean, hell, back uh, when I first started getting into Black Series figures, the first wave, I bought the first wave at the end of 2013 on Amazon for like half price. I bought Darth Maul when he came out because that was the only one I super cared about. I bought that in stores. That was my very first Black Series figure I ever bought. And then when the second wave came out with like Han Solo and stuff, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna pick up some. I'm gonna pick up the other ones. And I went to Amazon, and Luke Skywalker, X-wing Luke was on sale for like 11 bucks. The Sand Trooper was like 16 bucks, and R2 I think was like 17 bucks. So I picked up all four that I needed from the first wave in one, one swoop right there, and none of them were above retail price because at the time nobody were the people weren't buying Black Series figures. It wasn't as popular uh, then as it was now. Uh, or I just no one was buying it. I don't know. I know I kind of contradicted myself saying that doesn't mean that they weren't popular. Um, but I bought them all for less. So just because something uh, is going on Amazon for less than than the the retail value doesn't mean that they're not popular. Because as we know, like R two D two is going for like ninety bucks. X Wing Luke before he got reissued was going for a bunch. Um, uh, Darth Maul was going for a crazy amount. So that just that's kind of how it works. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Revan, that 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 case, that case that Revan came in, that was the first case where I bought the full case of online. I bought it from um, Dorkside Toys. It was like 160 bucks or whatever, and I bought that whole case just because I knew Darth Revan was going to be super hard to find. Um, so I basically, I mean, I wanted to buy the whole wave anyway. They were all new figures, uh, but you know, I never saw those figures in store. Uh, I think I think a couple months later they showed up at. Oddly enough, I think it was J.C. Penny or Macy's had that wave in stock uh, at, in their kids section, and then randomly they started showing up solid cases of Revan. Um, you know, they, they eventually kind of figured out what they were doing and, and got the figures out. But for a while, that case, that that wave specifically, was super hard to find. Do I think Commander Cody is coming to the archive line? I think Commander Cody is a very good candidate for the for the archive line. I think I think right now Wave Three, if if I were to make Wave Three for the archive line, I mean it's four figures. That's how it works. It would probably be uh, Han Solo, the original release Han Solo with an updated face. Uh, it would probably be Commander Cody. It would be Episode Three, uh, Obi Wan Kenobi. And I think for the third one, would either be R two D two or Greedo. I think I think those four, one of those four, would be a good the 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 ones to go. I would love it if Hasbro remade Revenge of the Sith Obi Wan Kenobi, but I doubt they will. I highly suspect we'll see him in the next wave of Archive series. The new Revan does look cool. I have that on pre-order from uh, GameStop for sure. Yeah, I think Commander Cody, he's a good hes a good candidate for archive release for sure. <clears throat> Let's, I'm just reading, reading what people are saying. They should have done all the Jedis who are on the council not only have robes, but they're chairs from the council. I agree, hundred uh, percent. Uh, the problem, the problem with that is all the Jedi's have those hard skirt shirt things, so it's hard to get them to sit down. So if they do that, I would have rather them had soft goods on the shirts, uh, so that you can get them to sit down. But I agree. Um, I think every Jedi should have a cloak, whether they, whether or not we saw them with one uh, in the. The show or movie or whatever is irrelevant. Every Jedi should have a cloak for sure. No, white, white, 
Revan is a February release for GameStop. He's not part of the official wave. He's only at GameStop. Exactly. Greedo's crazy expensive. And that's the that's why I included Greedo. Uh, he, I wouldn't buy him if they released him again because I own him still. I own the original Greedo. <clears throat> but Greedo is crazy expensive on the secondary market right now. And when he was out, nobody was buying him. He was a peg warmer. Um, so it, that's that's kind of what I'm talking about. Just because something is dirt cheap now doesn't mean that you know a year from now or five years from now uh, it's still going to be that no one wants it. It's because Greedo definitely... And Greedo, for a while, he's a sleeper hit. Um, people passed on Greedo because, like, oh, it's just Greedo. Uh, he he just has a gun for an accessory. That was it. It was, like, the first figure that had the least amount of accessories. Like, even R2-D2 came with a crap ton of accessories. Um, so Greedo just, just had a little gun, and that was it. And it did, it did suck buying him, but he's a good figure. Like, he looks good. He's fantastic. So, for sure. Greedo is another example of what I'm talking about, where just because things go for cheap, because he definitely went for cheap back in the day, uh, it doesn't mean that they are unwanted. At least not now. Uh, yeah, no one likes exclusives, man. Uh... No, no one likes exclusives. Yeah, uh, David, both both Greedo and... Because that wave consisted of Boba Fett, who was super hard to find, obviously. Uh, Han Solo, Princess Leia, the Slave Leia, and then um, Greedo. And Slave Leia and Greedo, like, peg-warmed super hard. Han Solo was not impossible to find, but not, like, not easy to find. Boba Fett was definitely hard to find. Four years from from now, Constable Zubio will be going for 150 bucks. Maybe, who knows? Uh, yeah, so it looks like a, a member of Zubio's race, or at least someone wearing something very similar to what Zubio was wearing, was in the Mandalorian. Uh, so I think, like, here's the thing about Zubio: a lot of people, like, I, even me, I was part of this. People hated on him because he wasn't in the movie. Like, there's no connection to him. Uh, and he was part of like he was part of the second wave, and I, I remember buying him and I posted on Instagram. I posted, I wonder if I'll care about this guy in in a month because I I bought him like a month before the Force Awakens came out, and I'm you know I didn't know how he was gonna play in the movie. I didn't know what his part was gonna be. So uh, it would be cool uh, if if I liked him a lot or if he was in the movie and he wasn't. And you know it was a big thing where people were hating on him. It was peg warming, and I was part of that, but. When I kind of sat down and played with him, he's actually a very good figure. Like the the detail, the sculpting, the weapon, the the painting. Like he is actually a very very good figure that just got shit on because he wasn't in the movie. Uh, and I, I feel bad for for Constable Zuvio. He does not deserve the hate. Uh, Stumbler, I definitely agree. There are definitely too many exclusives coming out. In the last four, three months alone, we've had more than six exclusives. You're right. It's, it's basically a wave, 100%. What's up, Linda? Thank you for joining the chat. Um, Order 66 is, uh, is another example. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so Chris Redfield asks, uh, what if they base the legend story on on the sequel trilogy? I don't know what that means. Uh, David's, David Smith's first black series was the Biker Scout with Bike and then Boba. Those are both good figures. Fantastic. Those are good first figures for sure. Um, you know, and back then the Biker Scout with the, with the, the, the speeder bike was only 40 bucks. Instead of sixty, I think forty is a fifty at most is a good price point for a vehicle and a figure. Um, sixty bucks that they're charging is easily ten dollars too much. Um, so 
I, I definitely I, I get why people don't buy them when they first come out because they definitely if you don't buy them they're gonna go on clearance and you're gonna get them for a lot less. Uh, so I definitely I definitely get that. <clears throat> you you know uh, so you picked up Walmart Luke two weeks ago and surprised that your Walmart had five of them. So that Walmart Luke was the Walmart Luke and Yoda were weird. Um, I, I found them. So I, at my local Walmart, I found a pallet of them on the floor unopened. So I was like, I was kind of sneaking through it and I saw the outside said Luke Skywalker and I like peel back the top and I look down and I see it's got the Jedi Luke and it's got the Yoda. And I'm like, I pulled two out from the top and I go, sweet. I found them. Repeat. I found them. Anyways. So as soon as I pull them out, the manager runs over and he says, yo, 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 you can't, you can't touch those yet. Uh, they, they don't come out until uh, the, the 10th or 11th or something like that. And he pointed to a date on the box, which is tiny, tiny, tiny print. Uh, and I go, okay, well, like, I know there are people online buying them. Can I buy them? And he's like, well, I'll try to ring them out uh, just, you know, just because... But if it says I can't sell them, I won't sell them. And so he scans them and he looks at it and he looks at me and he goes, it says I can't scan them. I'm like, yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, all right. People are buying these. Like, I know it doesn't say that, but whatever. I'm not going to argue with you over toys in an aisle. And I'm like, oh, so they're coming out. I think it was that Sunday. I'm like, so they're com- They're going to be out that Sunday. And he's like, yes. And we have two pallets of these. So don't worry about them being hard to find. And I was like, sweet. So um, that Sunday, I was actually at Disneyland with my wife. So I had a friend that was going to go buy them. And he went that morning, opening morning, to find them. And they weren't anywhere to be seen. The, the pallet wasn't there. The, and he asked somebody. And they're like, we don't know. Uh, so like nobody knows what happened. Um, eventually, another friend, uh, one of my work friends, went to that same Walmart uh, because Brick Seek said they had them in stock. So we went and found somebody and gave them the the plu skew number or whatever and they're like oh they're someone put them up on a the pallets they put the pallets up on a shelf in their back stock so they were on the floor a pallet of them was on the floor in the middle of the electronic session uh, and, then, and then they put it back in the back up on a shelf and they were gonna sit there for like who knows how long it's gonna be like it's like the end of Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark where they're putting a box in there and then there's it's there for the end of time who knows. Um, so I, I don't even know what's going on with Walmart. Walmart's the worst. I hate Walmart. Night of Ren, thanks for hanging out. <clears throat> yes, the, the Black Series Boba Fett isn't the best figure in the world. I like, he looks cool for sure, but uh, articulation is not a strong suit for by by any means. Night of Ren's, uh, no, Lily, I don't have any other boxes to open. Uh, Night of Ren's first Black Series figure was Bespin Luke and the Stormtrooper. Fantastic! That's that's awesome. That's the those are two good good ones. Uh, let's see. Sorry, don't understand what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, what if Jace, Jaina Solo and Jason Solo instead of Ray and Kylo Ren in sequel trilogy? I mean, it would have been fine. Here, here's the thing: I'm not the biggest fan of uh, the old Legends ex- expanded uh, universe. I'm, I'm not a big fan of it. I know a lot of people are. A lot of people love Jason and Jaina. I don't hate them, but I didn't. I guess got to a point where I was reading those books, and I just realized the books weren't very good. So I stopped reading them and I stopped following it. It was somewhere around the time I got about maybe five books into the new Jedi Order trilogy uh, after, you know, with the Yuzang Vong and all that stuff. Um, yeah, I got I got a little bit a little bit of ways into that. And I just I just got tired of it. I, I just didn't like it. So I stopped reading it. So like, yeah, I guess it would have been nice. It would have been cool if they incorporated that a little bit more. But at the same time, I don't care. I like Kylo, Kylo Ren. I like Rey. Um, they're good. Uh, Nathan Rosario got a hold of the Heavy Infantry Mandalorian last week. Uh, but had a manufacturing defect. Oh, that sucks. That was the manufacturing defect.
Yeah, you know, I got the Mimbin Trooper easy enough. I, I have two Mimbin Troopers in my collection. Uh, and I've got two... Uh, two Mimbin Troopers to give away at some point. So, Thrawn was the best thing to bring to canon. Here's the thing. Thrawn was good. Thrawn was good. Thrawn was one of the best parts of the Expanded Universe. But... Um, I don't think that the Thrawn trilogy, I'm glad that they didn't just adapt the Thrawn trilogy into movies. I don't think, I don't think the Thrawn trilogy is very good. And I know that's blasphemous to say, like, I get it. And I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I just don't, I just don't think the Thrawn trilogy is that good, especially after, uh, what happened uh, with... Because the Thrawn trilogy was written in the 90s, way before the prequels were even going to be a thing. And once they kind of fleshed out what cloning was and all that stuff, like, none of the Thrawn trilogy, when it comes to cloning, holds up. And cloning was a very big plot point in the Thrawn trilogy. So I'm glad they took the character Thrawn from the expanded universe and brought him into canon. Um, I'm glad they did that because Thrawn was a fantastic villain. Um, I just don't necessarily think that the uh, the Dark or whatever the was it Dark Empire? Is it, no, it wasn't Dark Empire, but whatever the Thrawn trilogy was called, I don't think it was Heir to the Empire. That was it, Heir to the Empire. I don't think that was a very good trilogy. Uh, uh, yeah, so uh, I know the expanded universe in the 90s, they had those children's books like the Glove of Darth Vader and Zorbo the Hutt and the Rebel Alliance, the, the New Republic was called Spin or something like that. And it dealt with Triclops, the, uh, the son of Emperor Palpatine who had a third eye and it was like a weird, uh, they were, those were terrible books, but I, I mean, I don't think anyone that reads those will like, well, acknowledge that they were good, but I don't think they were ever meant to be like canon or anything. But um, there were some genuinely like I don't think anything that Kevin J. Anderson ever wrote in the Star Wars trilogy was very good at all. Dark Saber, the Jedi uh, Academy trilogy, oh, that was the worst. Um, Barbara Hambly, another awful, awful author. Uh, Children of the Jedi, Planet of Twilight, like like I, I can I can you know just snap these off. I remember what the books were about. I just don't think they're very good, but they're not all bad. Um, the X-Wing books book series was fantastic. I think um, uh, Michael J. Stackpole uh, was, is a fantastic Arthur. Uh, Arthur? Author. There we go. Um, I, Jedi, Corn Horn. Like, I love those characters. Uh, and I would love it if they brought that, a lot of those characters back into, like, I would like it if they brought Card back into, uh, Canon. I would like it if they brought Corn Horn and all those guys back into canon, um, but maybe with better stories. Yeah. So I think I, I think a lot of people, I think a lot of the hate the sequels got are from people that really like the expanded universe and it's different and it shits in the face of the expanded universe, which I get. But I, I think. If you give it a chance, like I, I also like I liked Kylo Ren from day one, but he only got better as I think he's a very, I think he's a very nuanced character. Like you can look at him on the surface, and yeah, he's just like a spoiled brat who has temper tantrums. But I think, I think he embodies the Skywalker. Like he is the heir to Anakin Skywalker. Like he is Anakin Skywalker. Um, so I, I, I like, I like what they did with Kylo Ren, and I'm very looking forward to seeing how that goes in the last movie. Oh, dude, yeah. Uh, that The Imperial Droid figure rumor got me really titillated for sure. Man, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be ripping on your favorite books. Don't stop liking those books just because I don't by any means. I just don't care for them. Um, like, I know the, the New Jedi Order, a lot of people love those. I, I just didn't. Um, I don't think Kevin J. Anderson is a very good author. 
Uh, but I just, I don't like a lot of his characters. I think, though, like, he created a lot, he created, like, he made up a lot of really dumb stuff. Like, the, the whole Force, like, Jedi, um, the Jedi, like, I don't know, the prayer thing they got, the, the motto, the mantra, like, there is no, there, there is no hate, there is love, all that stuff. I, I think that's awful. I, I genuinely think it's bad. Um, and, and every time that I read it and, and people just treat it like it's biblical and canon. It just makes me cringe a little bit. Uh, I don't, I think Kip Duran was a very good character. I thought the Sun Crusher was stupid. Uh, like there's a lot of stuff. Yeah, Planet of Twilight, Children of the Jedi, and Dark Saber were all terrible, terrible books. Um, so the AC Crispin Han Solo trilogy, I did remember liking a lot. Um, and, and, and yeah, I, I definitely like it. Uh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> Nathan, oh my God. I feel like I'm, I feel like you're me. I really do. Tales of the Bounty Hunter was actually the book that I put it down and said, maybe I don't like Expanded Universe Star Wars. And it was the uh, it was the whole Boba Fett one where he was really a guy named Jaster Mareel from the planet Concord Dawn. And I know they've later retconned this uh, to where he wasn't really Boba Fett or, or Concord Dawn is a moon of Mandalore or whatever. But like when I was reading this, I was in high school and I'm, I'm reading through Tales of the Bounty Hunters. And I'm like, you just gave Boba Fett a name. You gave him a backstory and I hate it. I hate it. Uh, so yeah, I just uh, Tales of the Bounty Hunter actually I think killed was the final nail in the coffin for me for uh, the expanded universe. I still read it. Like I still I still read Vector Prime and and I, I I think I got to I think I got to Star by Star was the last expanded universe. I think that's the one. Was was that the one where Anakin Skywalker dies? No, Anakin. Anakin Solo dies, uh, the Millennium Falcon crashes or something like that. Um, I think that was the one where Anakin Solo dies. But uh, yeah, I just uh, I, I just didn't like it, man. <clears throat> That's cool. I mean, everyone's got their own their own opinions, and if if you don't like the sequels and you like the expanded universe, fine. Like that's that's you. Uh, you're more than more than welcome to continue liking that, and that, just like I'm more than welcome to not like it, and I prefer what what they've done with it. Like that's just we can just agree that we like Star Wars and we like different things about Star Wars in Star Wars. That's we can always find some kind of common thing. It's when people get like super shitty about what they like versus what I like. That's that's where I draw the line. Uh, you can like something I don't. I can like something you don't. But don't be shitty. Like there's no reason to it. Uh, hi, yes, clone. Clone Gregor is also a must for me. The Gregor episodes, uh, I know that a lot of people don't like them, but I like them. The whole droid thing, I, I thought they were fun episodes. Yes, Boba Fett was a total zero in the Expanded Universe Bounty Hunter books. Uh, abs absolutely. It, it was terrible. Yes, Chewie died in Vector Prime. He died yelling at the moon as it crashed on him from after he threw, uh, I think it was Anakin's, I think it was Anakin or Jason or Jaina into the Millennium Falcon as they were flying away as the moon was crashed. Honestly, when you, when, you, when you read it on paper, it's dumb. <laughs> it's just like it's dumb like and you tell me how Chewbacca died like he died awesome sure he's yelling at a moon but like he died because he didn't have enough time to get onto a spaceship even though like the spaceship flew off just fine as a moon crashed into it like he, he could have Co <laughs> Cobra, Cobra Clung I'm glad you like bots and shots thank you for like, liking bots and shots that means a lot to me Boba Fett agreeing to be the best man at Dengar's wedding made me want to toss the books out the window. Yes, De even Dengar's story, man. That was like, uh, 
That and that's one of the things I didn't like about the expanded universe is they made the universe so small. Everyone was connected to everyone else somehow, uh, and it wasn't like just let someone be someone. Like they don't have to be connected. I don't know. But I've been going for an hour and a half, and I told myself that was going to be my limit for this. So uh, I'm going to go. I have a lot of stuff to do tonight. I've got uh, an I've got a ray review to to finish making. I've got a loot crate to unbox and Lily and I uh, have dinner to eat and we've got to do another advent calendar video as well. And there's only so many hours in a night. So I'm going to thank you all for hanging out with me during this live stream. Uh, is Josh's live stream still going on? If it is, let me take a look. It is. Josh's live stream looks like it's, it looks like it's still going on. Um, if you guys want to go hang on over there, I would. My computer's literally Oop. trying to refresh. Oops, hold, right hold on. Right. Hold on, I didn't mean to do that. I just stream Josh on my stream. I'm just going to sub-stream Josh. Do they explain in, in the EU why Dengar wears slippers? No, they don't. The engine, thanks for hanging out with me, buddy. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Oh, dude, dude, Steve, don't, don't, don't do that. I'm, don't, don't feel bad. Uh, like, like star by star, like all the NJ, like, like those. You're fine. I'm always a proponent for reading. Just because I didn't like them doesn't mean you don't, man. We're, we're still good. We're still good. Hey, I, uh, I collect baseball. Thanks, uh, thanks for hanging out. Uh, thanks for showing up. I'm just about to end it, but I'm, I'm glad you were able to, to pop in and uh, say hi. Thanks for everyone for showing up here. Uh, it does. It, me it means a lot to me that you guys were here. If you want to support my Patreon, you can. There'll be a link somewhere. Um, it's patreon.com forward slash my case. But you don't have to by any means. Um, like, share, and subscribe would also be nice. But other than that, I don't know. Thanks for, thanks for watching. Thanks for getting this far. I'll see you guys later. Bye.